שלום. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yomla, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that are spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kotas Zayan from the GMS Holland branch, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai with another lesson, with another video, and Lord willing this video is edified. Going so in this lesson, in this prophecy of the day, I want to go into John 3 and 5, and it reads, Yahweh Shai answered, Fairly, fairly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Gone. So, when you read this, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, you're like, hmm, wait a second, but a man is born out of... Uh, water the, the semen you know semen of a man and uh, the egg of a woman and goes into the womb so what is this speaking about except a man be born of water and of the spirit so let's go into that what is the water let's go to deuteronomy 32 verse 2 Verse 1, and it reads, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. So what is that water? What is that rain? Because rain is made out of water, right? Dew is made out of water, and... What is that that rain that rain is the scriptures is the doctrine you see it says my doctrine shall drop as the rain so <clears throat> the water of which a man should be born is the scriptures another scripture pops into our mind um, bear with me for a second this is psalms 119 verse 9 and it reads wherewith wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word so the word is something that cleanses you just like how water cleanses you you see so going back to that scripture john 3 and 5 it says except a man be born of water Except he be cleansed with the, doc the doctrine and with the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. You see? So now, the second part was, except a man be born of water and of the spirit. So what is the spirit? This is John 6. This is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the spirit quickeneth, which that word quicken goes into revive, to make alive, you know. And the flesh profiteth nothing. Come, because I was making the comparison. The, how does a, is a man being born? He's being born from semen, from, uh, you know, and from the egg of a woman goes into the womb. So that creates flesh. But the flesh is not going to profit you. The spirit is going to profit you. Which the spirit, what does it say? The words that I speak unto thee, they are spirit and they are life. You see? So the doctrine and the doctrine is the water and the spirit is also the, the words that Jehovah Shai speak. It's, it's, it's the same, the scriptures, they are going to lead unto everlasting life. That's how you are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You see? Let me see, I was also thinking about come, to be born. If you go into First Peter's. Oh, 
almost a second of meters. Bear with me for a second. Yeah, first meters two. This is first meters two, first two. And it reads, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So when you are being born, you are also uh, newborn. You are just like a newborn. You know, you're soaking everything up, soaking uh, these scriptures up just like milk. So you got to start with the milk scriptures. You got to start with the, the things that are not too hard to understand. You see, you shouldn't go in depth into um, the beast and, and uh, the ten dragon and the ten horns, you know, uh, the, the harlot things like that no man you have to start with the milk scriptures first you see that's how you are being brought in this truth as a newborn babe you see and you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you be reborn because these uh how do you call it these christians they all always say are you reborn i am reborn so but these people they don't understand the scriptures just like how the, the real prophets, the men of the Lord that are standing in the highways and byways do understand these scriptures and consume them and we, we live these scriptures, you know. But these Christians, they say that they believe in the Bible and that they're reborn, but they still pray over their pork and then they're going to eat it. You know, if you believe in this word, if you believe in this doctrine, then you are going to do the best what you can to keep the law, statutes and commandments because that's seeking righteousness of the Most High. And ultimately, of course, the laws are not going to save you. But still, if you believe and fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you are going to try to do His will. You know, because that's where wisdom starts off with. It starts off with fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You see? Let me see, is there more to it? Verse 3. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. God, the Lord has mercy. If you are reborn, then the Lord has mercy upon you, you know, because you you are understanding these scriptures. Just not like how these people of the world are understanding it, but you have the in-depth knowledge of these scriptures, which not everybody can receive, you see? So then you see the grace of the Most High. You see the mercy of the Most High. So let's go back to what was it? John three. Hmm. Let me read through it until eight. This is John 3, verse 1, and it reads, The new birth. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahushai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, be with you. Yahushai answered and said unto thee, unto him, Fairly, fairly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? And he entered the second time into his mother's womb and be born. Yahushai answered, Fairly, fairly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Gone. So now you understand what it means to be born again. You know, I went into uh, the, the scriptures that show you that you are being um cleansed by the word you are being quickened by the spirit and you are you are like a newborn babe you know washing away the filth of this world and 
consuming and, and taking the doctrine of the Most High, you know, beginning with the milk scriptures. So verse 8, the wind knoweth, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and where it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Gone. So the Spirit leads you where the Spirit leads you. You see, you have to be in tune with the Spirit. Because the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, in the book of uh, Quench, how do you write Quench? In the book of Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19, quench not the spirit, you know. So let's go into that word quench real quick. You should let the, the spirit flow, you know. To quench. Middle English, quenchen, to extinguish, put out. You see, don't put out the spirit. Heat, light, fire, also Desire, lust, thirst, also figurative, to bring to naught, you see, bring to naught, bring to nothing, you know, diminish the spirit, you shouldn't diminish the spirit, you should feed the spirit, you should go with the spirit, flow with the spirit, that's why also you should um, keep the law, statutes and commandments of the Most High, because the scripture says, in a malicious body, in a malicious soul, the, the Most High, wisdom cannot dwell, you know, because wisdom comes from the Most High, and if you're you're defiling your, your body, you're defiling your temple, then it's going to cause an error. You know, the spirit is not going to be able to sup with you and be in your body and guide you and lead you. You see? Ineffectual, uh, 30, uh, 1200th century, old English, accent sun, to quench a fire of light from Proto-Germanic, Quenk Yanan, probably a causative form from the source of Old English, Quenkan, to go out, be extinguished. You see? So don't extinguish the, the spirit because the spirit is of the Most High. You know, that's going to lead you in the times that are going to come up ahead. You know, Jacob's trouble and in every difficult situation that you're going to be in, you should... Be full of the Spirit. So, yeah, man. I hope this video is edifying. And I want to say, Kal halal yam la, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash, Shalom, Akim.